Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would explain how to set up a Jenkins agent or slave in Linux virtual machine using JNLP. In the diagram, I have shown two virtual machines. In one virtual machine, we have Jenkins master running. And in the second machine, we have to set up a Jenkins agent. So this connection is called inbound connection because Jenkins agent will initiate the connection to Jenkins master uh, instead of Jenkins master initiating. The reason could be this uh, VM might be running behind a firewall uh, so that Jenkins master controller does not have direct SSH access to Jenkins agent. And also this agent machine uh, might be a Windows machine as well. So what is JNLP? JNLP is a Java Network Launch Protocol. This protocol allows us to install uh, some of the remote applications inside client machine. So to set up this, uh, we do not need to set up any SSH connection from master to agent. So what we need to do, we need to create a new node inside Jenkins master controller. So once we create, uh, it would generate a command with corresponding agent.jar etc. And also corresponding JNLP file. So those files uh, we have to copy inside uh, Jenkins agent. And once we run the agent.jar, so using the JNLP file, automatically it will try to connect to the master. So to connect to this master, it uses a TCP port. So we have to enable that port uh, in Jenkins master controller uh, as a prerequisite. So that is the prerequisite for this connection. But uh, there is also another option for us. Uh, instead of using TCP port, we can also use web sockets. So if we use web sockets instead of uh, connecting to TCP port, so we it uh, it directly uses the HTTP port, whatever we are using. So in that case, uh, we do not need to set up any. Uh, TCP port and also one more prerequisite for this Jenkins agent machine is that we need to install JDK. So let us start uh, setting up this agent. So here I have two machines. In one machine, Jenkins master is up and running. You can verify the status of it using systemctl command. So Jenkins is active and up and running. Now in the Jenkins agent, we have to set up a new user and group. So let me do that. Uh, group add Jenkins. So now group is added. Let me add a user also. User add. So we need to provide a home directory for this user. So I'm providing home Jenkins. And also we have to assign this user to previous group Jenkins. And the name of the user is Jenkins. So now user is added. Let us verify this user. Now Jenkins is added and uh, the group is Jenkins. Now we can log into Jenkins user. So this is our home directory. Here let me create a new directory called Jenkins agent where we will store uh, agent files. So now the directory is created. Let us go back to uh, Jenkins master server and we will create a new node. So log into browser and open the Jenkins URL. Click on manage Jenkins. So here we can see uh, manage nodes and clouds. Just click on it. So we have to click on new node. So provide a name for it. So I am giving new node JNLP1. So we can provide any name uh, as per uh, our requirement. Select permanent agent. So this is permanent agent because uh, we are not uh, creating this agent dynamically. And also we will not destroy this agent uh, just after the build runs. So just click on create. Provide a description. New node for uh, JNLP. And we have to provide number of executors here. So this indicates like how many builds at a time can be executed on this uh, Jenkins agent. And we have to provide our uh, root directory. So this is the directory what we have created just now. Uh, so in this directory, we will store the Jenkins agent files. And we have to provide a label. And uh, we can give like JNLP as the label. So using this label, Jenkins will identify a group of nodes in which the build can be executed. And we have to select one of the options of uses. So here uh, I am selecting only build jobs with label expressions matching this node. That means uh, the job will be executed on a particular uh, node with corresponding label. 
and for the launch method we have to select launch agent by connecting it to the controller because here in this case uh, we are installing the agent on our own uh, and uh, the agent would initiate the connection to the controller so we can also provide custom work directory so so this is the work directory where jenkins will keep the remoting files etc so we can use the same path as our uh, root directory whatever uh, we have kept earlier so i am using the default one so i will not provide any custom work directory here and also the internal data directory is remoting so this is the default one which will be created inside custom work directory so since we do not have any custom work directory our uh, jenkins agent root directory will be our custom work directory and in that remoting directory will be created so as i said earlier jenkins agent can also use websocket connection instead of tcp connection if so if we don't click on this by default it will try to connect using tcp port so in that case we have to enable tcp port in our jenkins security but if we use websocket connection we do not need to do that because it will internally use the http protocol for websocket connections so as of now i am not clicking on it so here we can select other uh, options like keep this agent online as much as possible so this is the default one i am keeping that and also we can select node properties where we can provide environment variables to locations etc so for this testing i am not selecting any of these options uh, let me click on save so now uh, a new node is created for us just click on that so here uh, we can see a message like jnlp agent port is disabled and agents cannot connect this way so what we need to do so we have to enable this port so go to security so go to manage jenkins and we have to now click on configure global security here we can see one section called agents here so here we can see the tcp port for inbound agents so by default it is disabled so we have to enable if we want to use tcp port connection so i so we have to give any port here so i am giving 5556 and if i give some port here the, i should make sure that uh, it is opened in a firewall to accept the tcp connections so just click on apply and save so now we have uh, enabled tcp port connection so just refresh the screen again so now we can see uh, a message called connect agent to jenkins using any of these ways so there are two ways here uh, we can use browser so generally for windows machines we can use this option a launch agent from browser and also if we don't have browser uh, for example our linux machines we have to use a headless connection so since we don't have any browser in our linux machine we can use another command uh, from the command line so this is called headless connection because we don't have any browser so we can run this command from our agent node so that the agent would connect to the master now in the jenkins agent we have to make sure java is installed we can verify that so open jdk is installed so i am executing the command whatever copied from there here in this command what exactly we are doing we are running an agent dot jar file so this jar file needs to be downloaded first so let me download that jar file we have to copy this link location so we have to provide jenkins master uh, url 10.0.0.80 .0 and age so this is the url from which we can download the agent dot jar file so now the jar file is downloaded so the next thing we have to do is we have to copy this command and execute it so we have downloaded the agent dot jar file already and we can copy this jnlp file in our machine and we can see what the content is now open a new browser and enter that url so here the jnlp is downloaded to my machine just click on it so this is the content of the file what was downloaded just now so basically it contains some of the uh, sections called resources so this resources contains a remoting jar file so this is the jar file which implements all the connection information for us so when we execute the command there internally it will try to execute this remoting jar and in the jar file the main class file will be this one this class will be executed 
and this class file will take all these arguments. So these are all the arguments which are generated as per our arguments inside node configuration. Like uh, so, it also generated a secret for us. So this secret will be unique uh, for a particular agent and the controller. So we have to keep this as secure. So generally, uh, what we have to do, we have to write a script and we have to execute this command instead of uh, storing in the command line. So for our example, actually I am executing this command. So once we execute the command, uh, now it is connected successfully. So let us uh, analyze this log. So basically it is using Jen home Jenkins, Jenkins agent remoting as a remoting work directory. So this is where uh, our Jenkins agent while execution it will keep the internal remoting files and it is locating the server among this now uh, the agent is trying to connect to n0080 and the port is whatever port we have enabled like our agent is connected to the master so from now onwards when we create any job using the label whatever created now it will use this agent for execution of the jobs. So let us uh, go and create a new job inside Jenkins. So let me create a new item. So I'll create an example pipeline here. Test uh, JNLP pipeline one. So this is a pipeline project. Click on pipeline and click on open. So in the pipeline, actually, we can provide various options. But here, for our example, we can directly go to pipeline. And we have to select the pipeline script because I don't have any SEM here. So we have to provide some pipeline code. Here it is a declarative pipeline. In the pipeline, we have to specify agent where exactly we are executing. So for that, we have to provide our label. Our label as JNLP. Now agent is provided. We have to provide stages. So in the stages, let me provide one testing stage. Or test our application. So I have provided testing stage here. So where I will mention some steps. So in the steps, what I will do, I will try to print the host name of the agent. SH host name and also SH IP address. So these are the two commands it would print when it executes this job. So let us save this. Uh, pipeline and save it. So in, now we can click on build now. Now in console output we can see whatever commands executed. Here it is printing the host name of the Jenkins agent and also it is printing the IP address of the Jenkins agent. So now uh, we can say that our job is executed successfully by connecting to the agent whatever we have created using JNLP. This is all about how we can set up a Jenkins uh, agent using JNLP in Linux. I hope you like this video. If you like the video content, please subscribe to my channel and also share with your friends. Thanks a lot for watching.